So, hello, Sandy. How are you doing today? I'm good, Mimi. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. So, today I suggested that we get together to talk about the Ultimate Blog Challenge. And maybe you would like to share a few words on exactly what that is. Well, it's a 30-day challenge to do a new blog every day. It's a great idea because it gives you, um, one, a lot of practice in writing, and two, because there are so many people taking part in the challenge, it should, um, and, and as part of the challenge, um, it's, a, it's a, an idea to be looking at other people's blogs and doing some comments and then you know, getting some comments back on your own blog. And the search engines love that. They love blogs that are really active. So it's a great idea to take part in the challenge because it means that um, you know, you're getting a whole bunch of new content, but you, more importantly, you're getting a whole lot of new traffic to your website, which the search engines take good notice of. So that was my motivation for taking part in the challenge. And I've also moved my blog from an address that I had for three years to a new domain name. And so it seemed like a great way to, to get the search engines looking over here rather than over there. Mm. Yeah, so that's what, a great idea. What were your reasons for taking part, Mimi? Well, I'm a coach and EFT practitioner in France, in Europe, and so far I've been working mainly in French, so my website is in French, and I do need to get a web presence in English, so I started a blog called mariaanel.com, and I've been having a hard time posting on that blog. So when I saw the blog challenge, I thought, wow, this is the time to kick off my English speaking blog. So that's what I did. And I know that we've both been having some slightly different challenges with it. So what, what's been the biggest thing for you? Well, I must admit, I have a thing with to-do lists and obligations. So knowing, <laughs> having this small little pressure somewhere in my mind, knowing that I have to write my blog today is very challenging to me. And I knew that when I signed up. So I thought, hmm, I'll see what happens. And what actually happened is that I fell sick. So I was out of it for three days. And now I'm trying to catch up. That's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes. It as, is. a, as, as a coaches and, and practitioners, we, we both have our own kind of um, perhaps a slightly different understanding of these things than, than yes. other people might have. Yes, um, exactly. But being a coach doesn't mean you're <laughs> perfect and that you don't, don't need any coaching yourself. And so I'm, no, no, I'm what, trying what to coach and get help on, on this issue. And yeah. perhaps you would like to help me along with a little quick tapping that probably some other people could take advantage of too. Okay. So what okay. would you say be the main challenge for you, Sandy? Well, I've been really enjoying the challenge and I felt um, really inspired, like I'm, I'm writing my blog post for tomorrow already based on something that I wrote about two days ago that, that had me thinking a bit more about it and so I'm writing a bit more about that today. But what I'm finding is I'm getting quite engrossed in the blogging and that's meaning that um, other things are not getting done. That's, that's a bit of a challenge. And, and the other thing that I'm finding a little bit interesting is how many people around me who are not bloggers or who, who don't have online businesses at all, when they say, well, what are you up to today? I go, oh, I'm doing my blog. And they, they kind of look at me like I'm, you know, three shades of purple or something. Mm, um, that, yeah, they just don't, I can they relate don't, to that. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't see the value in it. They don't see the point of it. And they think I'm kind of nuts for doing it. So um, mm. I, I know that you had something similar. Yes, yes, I had some some close people to me within my family when I said, oh, there's a blog challenge coming along in January. I want to do that. And this person looked at me and said, uh, don't you have some more urgent things to do? <laughs> and I figured, well, in a way I do, yes, but in a way I don't because this is really important because it's going to bring people to my blog. It's going to get me going on the writing. And it will also help me get to know other bloggers and create relations. And that's what mm -hmm. my business is all about. So mm -hmm. I'm really happy to be part of it. And within the first week, there were really 
so many people commenting and people friending friending each other on Facebook. It's great. It really feels like a group, uh, a new family. And you know, one one of the other things that I thought was so good is that normally when I do a blog post, I put it on my Facebook and I put it on my business Facebook page as well. A few people will come and comment, but what I'm finding is because there's all these people on this on this particular Facebook page, when I post a blog, you know, immediately a few people go over, read the blog, and comment, and that's for me that's been so inspiring because oh yeah. It doesn't feel any more like I'm kind of just dropping it into a black hole and seeing if it splashes, you know. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That's yeah. one of the main main gains so far for me too. Yeah. I agree totally. But what's this getting sick thing? If that was about something, what would it be about? I think it could be about fear of success. Okay, that's interesting. If I blog too diligently, then... Maybe I'll meet too many interesting people and my business will take off too fast. That's <laughs> then, how I'm, how I'm introverted. <laughs> and then perhaps I'll make a lot of money and I wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got sick because you actually are afraid of having too much money. That could be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you push it. As our mutual mentor, Angela, says, it's funny how we entertain ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so does that feel true to you? It definitely feels true that there is some self-sabotaging in the air. Okay. And the self-sabotage is about money? Yes, I do believe so. Okay. So if you were to locate that feeling of self-sabotage around money in your body, where would it be? In my lower back. So give that an intensity from a, on a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is a volcano. So focus on the feeling and give it an intensity. Well, I'm feeling better now since I'm through the, the illness, but I'd say I still get a 4. Okay, so what would it take to get it more intense? Perhaps writing a few blog entries. <laughs> okay, and what kind of response would those blog entries need to get for that intensity to go up? They probably need to get big attention and lots of comments and people seeing them and sharing them. Okay. So when you think about one of your blog entries getting a lot of comments, really striking a chord with people, and it getting a lot of attention and a lot of comments, what happens to that feeling in your lower back? Hmm. It could be it could be up a little. It could it be, be or it is. Yes. Yes, it's getting to a five or six. Okay. So I'm wondering if that reminds you of any other time or place or person in your life. Yes, I believe it does. Okay. It reminds wanna... me of all, all the other. <laughs> do this for 21 days, do this for a month, whether it be health, programs or coaching exercises or whatever and uh -huh. I I know on the top of my head I know of two that I actually carry through okay and and all of those other times when you've done these kinds of challenges have you got sick yes yeah. no not all of them but I, I do come to think of one time when I got really sick, yeah. Interesting. What what was happening that time you got really sick? What was the challenge? I had just completed a, a training, a relaxation therapy training, and as part of the training we were told what well, we were encouraged, and we had the choice, of course, but I thought it was a great idea. We made ourselves a little back flower remedy mixture uh -huh. that we were to take for 21 days 
Uh huh. And with a positive affirmation about how our business was going to take off. And I could do that for five days before I fell really ill and. Because of my medication, I was not I was not supposed to take anything else, so I couldn't even keep doing the flower remedy. If that sabotage in your lower back had a positive purpose, what would it be? To keep me in place, not make me take any risks. Okay, so it actually wants to keep you safe. Probably, yeah. When was the first time in your life that that feeling of needing to be safe came up? Mm, I can't remember. I keep, I, I only keep seeing that particular occasion coming up. Okay, so Mimi, you and I both are practitioners of a, an amazing mind-body technique called EFT. So how do you normally explain EFT to people who haven't heard of it before? Well, for the longest time I had a hard time doing that because EFT is so simple. EFT means emotional freedom techniques and it's based on acupuncture points that you tap with your fingers while pronouncing certain sentences in order to remove the energy block of your problem at hand. For today, for instance, we, we could tap on some of our blockages around the, the block challenge. Mm -hmm. And you can use EFT for that sort of block, and you can use it for physical pain or for fear, phobia, allergies, pretty much anything. Mm. And that's what the founder of Gary Craig keeps saying all the time. Try it on everything. I know that you try it on a whole bunch of things with your clients, and I certainly do with mine. And I've never found anything like it f for removing blocks. The tools we used to use, like journaling and anchoring states and all those, I, I do still use those now and then, but I tend to use them after we've done EFT, after we've cleared things up. So, yes. Um, so, My main tool before EFT was relaxation therapy, and I keep doing that to some extent, but less and less because it's just too slow, and the EFT will get rid of things in a few sessions, and that's it. And, and sometimes it doesn't even take a few sessions. I suppose the best way to really demonstrate the effectiveness of EFT is to do some. So shall we, shall we get into that? Yeah, sure. Let's. Uh, tell me about this feeling. Is it heavy or dense or what is it? Mm, it's it's a little bit like a like a balloon that keeps growing and at some point it's going to burst because it becomes too big. Okay, okay. So tap the side of your hand and say, even though, even though, I have this pressure feeling in my lower back. I have this pressure feeling in my lower back. It feels like it's going to burst. It feels like it's going to burst. It comes up often. It comes up often. When I'm challenging myself to do something different. Well, I'm challenging myself to do something different. Like using the back flowers for 21 days. Like using the back flowers for 21 days. And like this 30-day blogging challenge. And like this 30-day blogging challenge. It wants to burst from the pressure. It wants to burst from the pressure. But I love and accept and honor myself anyway. But I love and accept and honor myself anyway. Even though I have this pressure in my lower back. Even though I have this pressure in my lower back comes up when I challenge myself to do something different. Which comes up when I challenge myself to do something different. I love and accept myself anyway. I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have this pressure. Even though I have this pressure. I'm putting it on myself. I'm putting it on myself. It wants to keep me safe. It wants to keep me safe. It doesn't feel like it's safe. It doesn't feel like it's safe. 
feels like it wants to pop. <laughs> it feels like it wants to pop. It's about to burst. I love and accept myself anyway. I love and accept myself anyway. Okay, I want you to put one hand on that feeling of pressure. Mm-hmm. Put the palm of your hand on your lower back. Now tap the top of your head and say, this pressure. This pressure. And uh, on your, um, Inside your eyebrow, this pressure. This pressure. Side of your eye, it wants to burst. It wants to burst under your eye. I don't know why I put this pressure on myself. I don't know why I put this pressure on myself. Well, I do, because I know that I want to improve. Well, I do, because I know that I want to improve. On your chin, but part of me just wants to stay safe. But a part of me just wants to stay safe. Under your collarbone. I don't know why. I don't know why. Under your arm, I don't know why. I don't know why. And um, under your breast, on the the liver point. Part of me needs to to keep me safe. Part of me needs just to keep me safe. This pressure in my lower back. This pressure in my lower back. Next finger, this pressure I put on myself. This pressure I put on myself. Take a deep breath. On your next finger, this pressure in my lower back. This pressure in my lower back. Next, uh, on your pinky, this pressure in my lower back. This pressure in my lower back. And the back of your hand, this pressure in my lower back. This pressure in my lower back. Back to the top of your head, I don't know why I have it. I don't know why I have it. Because I feel safe. Because I feel safe. I want this challenge. I want to do this challenge. Take a deep breath. How's that feeling of pressure now? Hmm. Well, perhaps it doesn't have to burst right now. Okay, so it's eased off a bit. Yes, I think so. Did it remind you of anything? Did anything come up while we were tapping? Mm, It reminded me of one more. I said I had only known of two successes in in this kind of do the same thing for a long time (laughs) concept. But actually I thought of another one. Uh Uh-huh. Which did bring a lot of success to my business. Ah, and what happened when you got that success? Mm, well, nothing I can remember of, nothing dramatic. It just, it just kept coming. It was there and it was, it was perfectly safe. So who would not like it if you had a lot more success? Mm, I don't know. Who would who would drop the little bitchy comments and? Hmm. Oh. Oh, those. <laughs> um. Well, maybe some people around me who don't, who are not necessarily into the internet marketing stuff. Okay. They wouldn't get it. And are these people close to you? No, not very. Okay. Do I care? No, I don't think so. Here's a question. Are women allowed to be successful? Yes, but they may pay for it. Uh Aha. How? (laughs) They will probably have to give up something else if they want success. Like? Like they may have to choose between family and success in their business. Aha. Uh-huh. That would be a really good reason to uh, to trip over yourself and make yourself sick, wouldn't it? I guess so, yeah. Is that a surprise to you that you have that there, that that's lurking? Yes, yes, I'd say so. I didn't realize, I didn't realize it was lurking. <laughs> 
Okay. And when you think about that, that if you become really, or let me change that, when you become really successful, you will have to choose between your family and your business. How does that feel? Now, not what your head's saying. What is mm -hmm. your, what is that, that other part of you that, that has that belief? What is it feeling about that? It wouldn't know what to choose. Okay. So instead of choosing, it makes you sick. Yes. Hmm. That's a bugger, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> that, that part of you that has that confusion around not knowing which one you would choose, where is that? Well, Where? it feels like it's associated to that lower back area. I'd say it's, <laughs> this is weird, but it's, somehow it's my tail. I, tail. I, don't have, I don't have a tail. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, okay. it's, in the, it's in the tail I once had. Tap the side of your hand and say, even though. Even though. I have all this confusion around being successful. I have all this confusion about being successful. When I'm really successful. When I'm really successful. I'll have to choose between my business and my family. I'll have to choose between my business and my family. And I don't know which one I, I would choose. I couldn't choose between them. And I couldn't choose between them. And for some reason... And for some reason, I've got this feeling around my invisible tail. I've got this feeling around my invisible tail. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. But maybe it's time. But maybe it's time. To bring that tail back into my body. To bring that tail back into my body. And not waving around randomly behind me. And not waving around randomly behind me. I love and accept myself anyway. I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I don't know why I have this confusing tail waving around behind me. Even though I don't know why I have this confusing tail waving around behind me. For some reason, it's connected to being confused. For some reason, it's connected to being confused. About choosing between my business and my family. About choosing between my business and my family. I love and accept myself anyway. I love and accept myself anyway. Okay. Tell me more about this tail thing. Yeah. Well, you said it's invisible and that made me feel kind of sad okay and rather than taking it into my my body it feels like i actually need to i need to show it off i need to let people know it's there <laughs> okay so that's interesting it's like a part of it yeah it's a part of yourself you're kind of either ignoring or it's hiding from you which which yes, one is it? Or, or is it I'm I'm no I'm I'm trying hard to hide it and actually no it's it's time for it to to show. Okay. It's time for me to show. Okay. Knowing that you have this hidden part that you've been hiding, and now you feel like it's the right time for it to show. How is it feeling? Um, it's it's kind of waiting to to get a life <laughs> to come to come into my life. Okay, tap the top of your head and say, "My sad little tail." My sad little tail. Inside your eyebrow, my sad little tail. My sad little tail. Side of your eye. I've been ignoring it for so long. I've been ignoring and hiding it for so long. Yeah, under your eye. Now's the time for it to shine. Now is the time for it to shine. 
under your nose. Now is the time for me to show it off. Now is the time for me to show it off. On your chin. Now is the time for me to acknowledge this amazing thing that I've got. Now is the time for me to acknowledge this amazing thing that I've got. Under your collarbone. Wow, look what I've got here. <laughs> wow, look what I've got here. <laughs> Under your arm. I'm going to give it so much life and so much energy. I'm going to give it so much life and so much energy. Under your breast because I don't know why I've been ignoring it, hiding it. I don't know why I've been ignoring it and hiding it. Side of your thumb, but now's the time. But now is the time. Next finger. Come on, little tail. Come on, little tail. Next finger. Let's get this on. Let's get this, go- get this on. Let's get the game going. Yeah, it's the side of your pinky. Let's get happening. Let's get it happening. Back of your hand. Let's wiggle and waggle. <laughs> Let's wiggle and waggle and sway. <laughs> yeah, top of your head. This amazing, gorgeous, stunning tail. This amazing, gorgeous, stunning tail. It's just vibrating with life. It's just vibrating with life. This amazing thing that I've got. This amazing thing that I've got. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> cool. How's that pressure? And the the pressure is gone. Awesome. The pressure Think is gone. It's it's as if it it was. It's as if all that energy was trying to fit in my in my body, and it needed to go out in that tail, and get uh-huh. it waggling and going. <laughs> so think about. This blog post that's coming up that's going to get so much attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, happening? It, 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 it will because <laughs> I'm going to have to tell the world I have a tail. <laughs> <laughs> In some metaphorical nice way, I don't know, but... <laughs> Well, that feels that feels great. So no pressure wonderful. there, no concern, no. no need to, no. no feel like you have to hide. No. Awesome! That's so exciting. It is, yeah. You sound a bit kind of bemused. Yes, yes. This <laughs> I didn't really know, <laughs> tail. but I'm not surprised. <laughs> I, I'm getting this little idea that it's kind of rising up and expanding like this great big aura around you. Yeah, yeah, it's finally falling into place. It's finally coming coming to where it has to be. It, it's wonderful. It, it feels great, really. <sighs> awesome. I'm getting this picture, as I say, it's like this big shining aura around yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've unleashed something, Mimi. Totally, totally. <laughs> awesome. And maybe I needed to lie down for a few days to prepare for this. Maybe, maybe you that's did. Why I've made myself sick. Maybe you did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So exciting! Oh, I can't wait to read it. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll send you the first copy. <laughs> you do. Too. Be great. Mm. Wow! Well, that was that was fun. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, you're welcome. But, um, it's it's it's. Uh, did, you know, I had no idea where that was going, and obviously, nor did you. So uh, no, no. So uh, look, thank you for sharing that. I think people will find that um, <laughs> maybe they're not going to have their own tails, but um, you know, they may well, find that knows? they've got. Yeah, well, it's true. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> the whole blog yeah. challenge. Community will grow tails, <laughs> <laughs> but but I think that um, a lot of people have got that that kind of inner spark and and inner brilliance um, hiding. Yeah, uh, it's a scary thing putting your brilliance out on show. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, exactly. And being 
being a little different, um, having an amazing thing that people may not know that you have, and, and all of a sudden you have to show it off, and that's, that can be scary, mm. but it's actually fun, and it feels great. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Glad to hear it. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, Sunny. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. How do you feel about your doing the blogging rather than doing other things? Well, yes. I find that what I do is I'm really very good at finding 16 other things to do to keep myself legitimately busy and not necessarily focusing on the one thing that I actually need to do. It's a pattern that I've recently become aware of. Um, I've known for quite a few years that I'm very good at busy work, you know, at appearing busy, And but there's a part of me sitting off going, yeah, but you're only doing it so you look busy. You're not doing what you really need to be doing. And, and I don't know what that's about, but I find that um, when I become aware of it, and more and more likely I'm becoming aware of it, and I suspect that um, the blogging challenges come along at just the right time to, and I mean, I, as we've mentioned before, the, the um, benefits of being uh, involved in something like the blogging challenge are enormous. And, mm. and I'm not spending a lot of time on it, probably an hour or so a day, if that, um, but I'm putting so much energy into it as well that I'm I'm feeling a little bit flat around other stuff that I need to do. So, so the more I notice that pattern, the more I um, that little part of me sitting to the side goes, "Oh, for God's sake, who are you kidding?" You know. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, and I don't know what I don't know where it came from. I don't know what it's about. But when I'm aware of it, I feel like I've got this little mountain sitting in my chest you know okay like almost crushing my chest it's like like an expectation or something I don't know what it is but if I could Mm -hmm. shift that I'd be so happy Mm. (laughs) okay so tell me how big is this mountain in your chest right now it's it's like um it's like a beach ball it's about the size of a beach ball, but it's like real solid. More like a medicine mm-hmm. ball, but the size of a beach ball. Okay. But it's real jagged and dark and rough. Okay. What is it made of? Granite. So would you like to do some tapping on that? Yeah, as I'm really giving it my attention, it is shrinking and it's, it's getting like more dense and um, smaller and more dense. But it's almost like it's kind of, it's trying to escape, as mm-hmm. in escape notice and attention and it's trying to like hide. Yeah, as if it was getting caught. Mm, mm, that's it. Okay, but it can't get very far because it's stuck in your chest. Mm, it's kind of bouncing around. <laughs> Well, very, very gently, let's talk to it. If it's trying to hide, then it probably feels progressed somehow. So be gentle. Okay. If it's in your chest, remember? (laughs) You don't want to be too rough to anything that's in your chest. No, okay. So tap on on the side of your hand, on the karate chop point. Even though I have this mountain sitting in my chest, even though I have this mountain sitting in my chest. Today, I feel like I can love myself anyway. Today, I feel like I can love myself anyway. And I'm even going to send some love to this weird mountain in my chest. <laughs> I'm even going to send some love to this weird mountain in my chest. Even though I feel a bit flat for my other tasks. Even though I feel a bit flat for my other tasks. And I'm so good at keeping myself busy. And I'm so good at keeping myself busy. And this all has to do something with this mountain hiding in my chest. And it's all got something to do with this mountain hiding in my chest. But today I feel like loving myself. But today I feel like loving myself anyway. Yeah, and I'm letting my chest fill up with love. And I'm letting my chest fill up with love. Mountain and all. 
even though I have 16 other things to do. Even though I have 16 other things to do. And I'm so good at busy work. And I'm so good at busy work. And what good is this challenge anyway? What good is this challenge anyway? Oh, forget it. I love myself. Oh, forget it. I love myself. And I love being part of this challenge. I love being part of this challenge. And I know it's going to bring me so much good stuff. I know it's going to bring me so much good stuff. Good articles every day. Good articles every day. New contacts. New contacts. New people finding my blog. New people finding my blog. Good statistics in the search engines. Good statistics in the search engines. And so on and so forth. And so on and so forth. So this is a good idea after all. So this is a good idea after all. And I'm proud of being part of it. I'm proud of being part of it. On the top of your head. But I still have this mountain hiding in my chest. I still have this mountain hiding in my chest. At the beginning of your eyebrow, there's a mountain in my chest. There's a mountain in my chest. Side of the eye. This is not normal. This is not normal. (laughs) (laughs) Under your eye. I'd rather have something soft in my chest. I'd rather have something soft in my chest. Under your nose. I'd rather have something warm and round in my chest. I'd rather have something warm and round in my chest. On your chin. Something warm and round that comes out of being part of this challenge. Something warm and round that comes of being part of this challenge. On the collarbone. What if I could find something soft to cover the mountain with? What if I could find something soft to cover the mountain with? Under your arm, because apparently this mountain has decided to live in my chest for now. (laughs) Apparently this mountain's decided to live inside my chest for now. Under your breath, I have decided to be soft to this mountain today. I've decided to be soft to this mountain today. And on your fingers, on the, on the thumb, what if I can go through my day although there's a mountain in my chest? What if I could go through my day even though there's a mountain in my chest? In the finger, what if it could give me some weight? What if it could give me some weight? And the next finger, what if it could make me grounded? Hmm. <laughs> what if it could make me grounded? And on the pinky, what if this mountain is something good for me today? What if this mountain is something good for me today? And on the back of the hand, what if this mountain is actually a friend? What if this mountain is actually a friend? And on the top of the head, there is a mountain in my chest. There's a, there was a mountain in my chest. <laughs> oh, what happened to it? Keep tapping. Tell me what happened. Well, it, um, when we were talking about giving it some love, it kind of stopped its bouncing around to hide. And it, it kind of like pricked up its ears. Not that it had ears, but it kind of perked up to show some... Really? <laughs> so that was the you could love me, really? <laughs> and then when we were talking about being grounded, it kind of just went and and it became me shaped. And it um so there's no mountain, it like it's gone. Okay. But there's um well, I've had my astrology chart done and it keeps coming up all the time. You know, you need to be more grounded, you need to be more grounded. So Hmm. Okay. (laughs) Well, that's amazing. That's amazing. So that kind of hard fluttering in my chest is gone, and and I've just got this feeling of being so much more solid. You're a little wizard. (laughs) Well. (laughs) 
it was your mountain. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I've had that mountain for a bloody long time, and I didn't know what to do with it. So. <laughs> mm. Well, excellent. That's that's why um, working with somebody else is such a gift because they can feel or see or imagine other things that we often yeah. can't. Yeah, totally. I, I yeah. had no idea where we were going to go with any of this today. So no, it, no. Do you do you think we <laughs> we should share our mountains with ears and tails and whatever <laughs> with world? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind, but they may not get it. Mimi, thank you. Been awesome. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>